Hello, everyone. Welcome to AITech1.com. My name is Sumit, and I'm here in my new video in Tableau CRM. And the topic for today's video is how to configure Salesforce output connection in Tableau CRM. So in this, in today's video, I'm going to demonstrate you how to enable and configure the output connection to a Salesforce environment from Tableau CRM using dataset recipe. So let me tell you about the use case. So the use case here is we got a, a Salesforce environment and the requirement here is we would like to uh, update the data using Tableau CRM and, um, and update the data back into Salesforce. So as you can see, I got an opportunity here. This is my opportunity object. And in this opportunity object, there's a column called taxable amount. So the idea is, So the idea is based on this amount, we will be going to perform the calculation uh, within Tableau CRM. Uh, we'll, we, we'll be going to perform some calculation. We'll be applying some, we'll be going to configure some transformation using Tableau CRM with the help of data set recipes. And while we'll be, ex uh, while we'll be saving the data set recipes or in the data set recipes, we want to update this column based on WCR based on the operation, based on the transformation, we will be going to configure in WCRM. Now you guys might be wondering that what kind of use case it is, because if you have to do that, we can run an automation functionality in Salesforce itself. Then why do we require WCRM for that? And the, uh, the reason is, let's suppose if our data is coming from dif different data sources on different data sources, let's suppose few of my data is coming from Snowflake, or if my data is coming from CSVs, or if my data is coming from other Salesforce environment. So we cannot augment the data, we cannot migrate the data, cannot join the data within Salesforce directly. But in Tableau CRM, it is possible. So in Tableau CRM, we can fetch the data from different data sources, migrate the data, apply the transformation, concatenate the data, augment the data, and then finally, uh, Upload. I mean, we will, we can update the data. Back, we can update the uh, uh, result in this column in a, in an opportunity object. That's what the complete use case is. Now, in order to start working on this, those who have all those who are already working in Tableau CRM or those who are expert in Tableau CRM, they might be knowing that in Tableau CRM we have a data manager which helps us to perform all these transformations, all these all these type of uh, customizations. And for this, we used to have a connect object, connect option is there. And uh, I'll just, when we click on connect to data, we'll be getting options for input connections, mutes of connections or live connections, but we are not getting any option for output, output connection. So the very first thing we have to do is we require an output connection option here so that it, we can, with the help of that option, we can update the data back into Salesforce. And for this, what we have to do, First of all, you need to have the admin admin privileges and that I have already got. So we'll get back to our Salesforce environment. And in Salesforce environment, we will search for analytics. So I just search for, uh, just search for analytics. And you know that using with the help of getting started, we can enable or disable Tableau CRM. As you can see, we have an option disable Tableau CRM, but this is not what we are talking about. We are talking about the connector. So I click on settings. And when you click on settings, you will find out the connectors we have. As you can see, we have various connectors. So those who are working with Amazon Web, Amazon Web Services, they can go with AWS. Those who are working with, uh, those who are working, see this, we, we used to have Amazon with, uh, uh, Amazon SC output connection. We used to have Snowflake output connection. We used to have Salesforce output connection, and we used to have Tableau online output connection. So in our case, in our case, we'll be targeting this, this output connection. So what I will be going to do is, we will be going to, I'm going to activate this. So very quickly, what I'll do, I'll just quickly check it out. And I just think, simply click on, uh, just check it out. And then finally, I click on save button. So I click on save button. And once everything is done, you can see in the, enable, the, the connector is enabled now. What we'll do, we'll get back to our data manager in Tableau CRM. And I'll just refresh my environment. I'll just refresh the data manager, or you can reopen it again also. 
So when we refresh the data manager, and now if I click on connect, click on connect to data, you can see we'll be getting one new option coming up, output connection. So we'll be getting this section now, output connection. Now what we'll do, I click on output connection and we have to add a connection here. So I click on add connection. So can we use this connection? Here's an option, Salesforce output connector. And here we have to specify the connection name. So what we have to do, we have to give a connection name. So let's fill up these informations quickly one by one. And for this, what I'll, I'll just write, Salesforce output, uh, I'll just Salesforce output connection. I will be following the naming conventions. Use the same name actually. So I'll just give the same name. Salesforce output connections and uh, connector for Salesforce. Here we have to provide username and password. And uh, those who are familiar with this, so in this case, we have to provide Salesforce username and password. And it, along with password, we have to pass security token as well. So, so as you can see, I, I provided my username, I set my password, but along with my password, what I need to do, I need to pass a security token also. So I've already requested for security token and received a security token in my mailbox. So I just paste the security token and let's click on save and test. So you can say connection test was successful. Click on continue. That's all you have to do here. If you want, if you just click here, we have edit connection or delete connection. And if you click on this, we have nothing to do from here. So that's all we'll be doing here. That's all we'll do. And now what we'll do, I simply click on close this. Now, uh, what I have done, I have already added a data set actually, as you can see, that's my data set and my data, the data set which I'm going to use here is that's the opportunity data set I'm using. And in this opportunity data set, let me show you the column which I'm targeting. So there's a column called taxable amount and amount. So as you can see, we got an amount and we got taxable amount, so amount and taxable amount. So then my, our, my objective is whatever the amount, I just want to calculate, I just want to perform some calculation in backend with the help of data set recipe. Let's suppose 20% tax or 18% tax or 15% tax on this amount. And the amount will be calculated and stored into this taxable amount. And this value, we, we want this, this uh, we would like to save the value back into this particular in this column so how we'll do that we'll take help of data set recipe for that so i'll get back to my data manager click on data flow and recipe click on recipes and click on create recipe and once you click on create recipe what do you have to do you have to fill the details so here what i'm going to do i click on add input data and the column we are going to use the data set which i'm going to use here is that is opportunity data set so i select the opportunity data set and make sure that the columns, all columns are, if all columns will be available here or not. So I click on next. And here, what I want to do is I want to add a transformation. So I'm going to add a transformation step. I click on transform and I'm going to quickly add a transformation step. Now, as you can see, we already got a column. So we are not going to make any change. So I just select amount and I'm going to add a formula function into this. So I click on custom. I just add a custom function. And in this custom function, I just simply write, see, it's not necessary to display the column here in your, in, in here. If you, if you do not have this call, if you don't add this column here, that will also work. Doesn't matter because in, with the help of uh, data set recipe and transformation, we will be going to add the column at runtime. So I just write here, the field is, uh, the field we are targeting here is, the field we'll be targeting here is the amount field. That's the field, the field is amount. So I click on, I just click here and we are cal calculating the tax. So I just write amount multiply. Let's suppose I'm calculating 15% tax multiply 15 divided by 100. And select an option, the output will be in numeric and the precision zero and all. And the, this I call it as, uh, let's call it as calculated text, text calculation. Text calculation and apply and we can do one thing quickly uh, the best thing about recipe is that we can quickly check the result also so if i if we just calculate 15 percent of uh, this 50,000 is 7,500 that's correct so we'll just save this continue 
recipe name i just write opportunity opportunity data set recipe and save this and now what else what we have what are, what we are trying to do we have to add an output node so here we have an output node so i click on output node and when i output node he is asking for data set or we would like to write it as a csv or we would like to add it as a output connection so i select output connection the connection we already have the the connection we have already configured so select output connection and uh, which object obviously opportunity object so let's select the opportunity object now in opportunity object what do we want do we want to insert update or assert so i am interested in update not insert i mean i'm interested in more in update and we have to map the fields and the mapping the the field mapping all the fields are mapped but the field which we wanted to map here is instead of taxable amount i'm going to use a see that's the so if you just look at here these are recipe columns and these are your opportunity objects so here okay that's a taxable one so i'll just go over taxable and uh, here taxable amount okay the taxable amount i can just uh remove this one i don't want to map this one but i want to map this text calculation well be very careful while mapping the field because if you make any changes in the mapping so we have to map this one whatever value we have in text calculation that we want to store in our field so which field we want to store this we want to save this into taxable amount that's what we have to do here and uh, then uh okay so it's asking for each column So as you can see, we got a column and I'm going to save this data into taxable amount. And finally, what we have to do, you have to click on apply. So your that's the complete flow. So we we get we created we ex, we get the data from an opportunity data. We created a opportunity input connection. Then we apply the transformation and in output node, I use the output connection, the one we created. And now what we'll do, we'll be going to save and run. So I click on save and run. And once I click on save and run, it says the recipe has been queued to run and we can see the result in the data monitor. So I'll get back to data manager and monitor, I can see the result. And you can see my recipe is running right now. So let it finish. So it may take a few minutes to complete the recipe to run the recipe and uh, the changes will get reflected because it's an output connection so obviously it will establish a connectivity with the salesforce out with the help of output connection and update the field so let's check it out So once the process is completed, let's go and check uh, whether our, our output connection executed successfully or not. So as you can see, this is the opportunity account amount, and you can see the taxable amount. So this field has been updated successfully. And I can see the updated uh, account, the, update, uh, the taxable amount field is populated and it's updated successfully. So with the help of data set recipe, with the help of Tableau CRM out Salesforce output connector, what we did, we you, we, uh, we perform the transformation, we perform the calculation at Tableau CRM and, and then we update it, we update the final result in back into Salesforce. So that's the way we can use Salesforce output connectors. So that's all for today's video in this session so if you have any doubts or any queries you can come up with your questions you can drop your queries in our chat or you can uh, drop your queries in comment box don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel if you like this video press hit button or if you have any comments or if you are looking for any customized training on salesforce or Excel, you can reach out to us thank you guys thanks for watching have a nice day goodbye